All right, so I'm going to show you guys step by step how to use the Celestron Star Sense Auto Align. Before you can get started, you will need to have the Star Sense uh, controller and camera hooked up to your telescope. Once you do, you need to power on the telescope. Once you have it powered on, the controller will load stuff in. Once it finally um, loads, you will land on a screen on the controller that you see here. Before we can use the uh, star sense, we need to go into the menu option on the controller. And when we need to locate the uh, time and location in this menu, you can do that by using the number nine or number six button on the controller. We need to locate the, uh, the time and location in here, and then we need to find the time and location and the source that we're gonna use because we need to find the the source that's going to provide the time and location and all that stuff. And uh, once you do, you'll be taken to the uh, show source. So if you have a Celestron SkySync uh, GPS, it'll show up there in there if it's connected. Um, you will have to use the, uh, uh, you can navigate using the, the, the number six and number nine key. And you press enter to highlight whichever one you have. So if you, if your GPS isn't detected, you need to, uh, highlight it and then press the enter button. Uh, if you're doing this without a GPS, then you'll be stuck having to do the manual entry for it. And um, that's basically where you'll have to go in and manually enter your time, date, location, and all that stuff uh, manually yourself. Um, as you can see here, this is the time here. And I'll show you what you need to do here. Um, as you can see there, there's the time date and uh, time zone and, and daylight savings time um, to edit these these settings in here you need to press the enter button on the controller and as you can see one it'll highlight that and you just press the numbers on the keypad to fill in the time and all that stuff in there and then uh, use the buttons to navigate down to the next thing and uh, then we need to check the location and make sure that the GPS coordinates for our city or where we are is correct. Um, as you can see here, the latitude and longitude is what I have. And if you need to make corrections to set this in yourself, uh, you, you, the same thing you do again is you hit the enter button. And this will basically allow you to, um, you know, change the uh, the settings in there for that. We need to go back after you set all this stuff and we need to do, we need to press the align button and you can see there's different aligns you can do. Uh, using the number nine key, you can scroll through the list of alignments that you can perform. And uh, f for me, I'm just gonna use the star sense uh, auto feature. So I slide it, press enter, and then it'll check to make sure the time and date is correct. And once you do that, uh, if you press the back button, uh, it'll take you to to the the fault settings you need to be at with the telescope, where the telescope needs to be facing the horizontal and needs to be uh, facing the horizon. Press enter, and the telescope is going to go and uh, do its thing to you know find all the stars that it needs and and know where it is. Once it does that, it will finally stop and. Um, for me, unfortunately, it failed, and well, that's just due to, you know, um, the weather was bad, so it wasn't able to, to lock on for me. To get good, good, uh, good accurate uh, stars and all that stuff, you need to get, have a good sky, and uh, yeah. So once it does this thing, you will be taken to where it will show you whether it's been, whether it was successful or not. As you can see here, the uh, alignment failed, but assuming that the alignment was good, um, you'll be able to move on to the next part of what you need to do. All right, so assuming the alignment went great, you'll press the back button, and now what we need to do is we need to go back to the main part, and we need to go uh, do, we need to find a star. So you press the stars button, and you need to go to name stars, and what you need to do is, is you need to find a star that is nicely bright in the sky that you can see, and once you found the star that you would like to use, what you do is, is you go to that star. And what's going to happen is, is once you look in the eyepiece, the star may not be there. It may be way off. That's okay. That's supposed to be normal. And the reason why is, is you need to calibrate the, uh, 
the, the camera so that it knows where the center is. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll find a star, like I said, a nice bright star, not a planet, by the way. Don't use a planet because you don't want to. Okay, so I'm going to use Capella here, and um, what you do is, is, is a telescope will slew to that star. And like I said, once it does, it will it will land in the, on that star, but it'll be off a little bit. And uh, then what you want to do is is you want to uh, stay on that star, and we're going to go to the calibrate spot on the controller. So I'll walk you through going to the calibration, uh, getting to the calibration spot on the controller. Okay, so once you have the star centered, we need to go back to the main menu where it says star sense ready. Once we get to the screen, we need to go to the menu button, which is number seven on the star sense controller. When we're at this menu, we need to locate navigating using the number six or number nine key and navigate through here till we find the, the option or menu for star sense. Once you found star sense, press the enter button on the keypad, locate the calibrate uh, option and press the enter button. Now the star that you you went to uh, with the with the star button, that is the star that you're going to use to calibrate the center of what it needs or the center for the camera. Okay, so once you do that, um, you're going to center Capella uh, in the eyepiece, and once you have done that, uh, you just you press the align button. And the camera is going to the the camera is going to have the mount move to um, where Capella is and calculate the information that it needs so that it knows where where the center is for the sky. I guess um, once you've got that complete, you are you are now ready to do the alignment all over again. And as you can see here, it's it's uh, calibrating and it's processing the image because it took a it took a picture of the sky where that star is and it's looking for it and uh this is gonna fail for me because uh well the star is the way the telescope was pointing uh it was just in the wrong location so assuming that it's able to find the star in the location uh you should get a different message than what you see here for me which is uh no solution. So assuming you don't get the no solution part, you should get a message that the calibration was okay. And th what you need to do, which is the last step is, is you need to go back to the main, main, the main part, which is star sense ready. And we need to do the star sense auto again, uh, double check to make sure that your, your time location and date are correct in the controller. And, Follow the and, and just start the uh, the star sense uh, auto and once it has finished with the star sense auto, it should be it, it should be ready to use and oh if it is you'll be able to land centered into the eyepiece of whatever object you go to. Now it is recommended that you use a high power eyepiece, a wide high power eyepiece when you're centering the star that you're going to be using to calibrate with. So it's very important that you use a high powered eyepiece that is wide enough. Once you've done that, you should be good to go. And hopefully this video has helped you guys out. 